Um, and today what we need to do is just finish up our animal drawing a little bit. Um, and how many of you feel like you are there? Just a couple of you. Okay, um, here's a couple of examples that someone drew in my afternoon class just for fun. So we want to really focus on that border and then getting an animal drawn in there. Um, and I would make sure it kind of fills up the whole space. Remember, you can do the whole animal if you want, or you can just zoom in and do just the face for right now if you want to as well. Okay, so I'll give you guys a little bit of time to catch up on that and then I'll give you some more instructions. Does that sound okay? Okay, pause the video. All right, so when you get to the point where you have your animal drawn in, um, if we go back and just take a look at our inspiration photo, check it out. Um, remember that all of these animals have lots of texture on them. So if all you have is just a really simple outline, then you need to go in and see how can I add a little bit of detail inside here, or like even this big area of that chicken would have been pretty plain had they not added that detail in there, or like this chicken up here, they added some sort of pattern. And so that's what I want you to think about for a second. Okay. Oh. And then the other thing I want you to think about is the background behind the animal, um, like right here, also has a pattern. So it can be stripes, it could be something simple, it can come from the center like this, um, or it could just be a weird texture like this, and that's fine too, okay? But I want you to think about how are you going to really fill all of this in with lots of patterns and textures, okay? So let's take a second, and um, what I might do here is say, okay, I'm going to do I don't think I want to do stripes in there because that, there's already stripes right there. So maybe I do um, just little tick marks all over the place like this. There, and I can cut those little areas out. Bless you. And maybe on these areas, I give it a little more detail by doing concentric circles in here just to add a little more detail. So where can you add a little extra oomph? Any questions? Okay. So we need to find a way to transfer your drawing onto your um, linoleum block. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna press really hard and trace over your main things. Um, I should have done this before. Now you get to watch me trace for a little bit. Um, I'll just do some of the main things here. So you wanna press really hard. Have you ever used that paper that's kind of like carbon paper and what you draw on the first layer shows on the second layer behind it? That's kind of the pressure that you're looking for. Um, and you definitely want to focus on just these main things. The rest of it will kind of come together. Or anything that's kind of light, you want to make sure you retrace, okay? And what we're going to do is, that's good for now. Um, you would probably want to do more than that though. So you're going to take this and we're going to cut out Our paper with that little square that we did because you want it to be the same size as your printing plate. And then hang tight. Thanks for your patience. You're going to take this drawing and you're going to flip it upside down onto your plate like this. And then what you're going to do is you can just anything that's kind of flat, like this is a marker lid, I just had it laying nearby. So you're just going to kind of rub really carefully all the way around. Notice how my left hand is really holding things in place so my paper doesn't move too much. Um, and then it should transfer your graphite onto the printing plate. 
And if you just peel up edges really carefully, you can see where it didn't transfer very well and then just go rub a little bit better. So I just want you to finish up your design, um, trace over your lines anywhere where your, your mark making is kind of light. You wanna put a little more value there. And then you're gonna flip this over and you're gonna transfer your drawing. Any questions? Okay, I'll pause the video. Um, if anything on your drawing didn't transfer very well, then you can go ahead and just take your pencil and actually draw right onto your printing plate. So um, you can take a second and do that if you want to. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna probably wait until Monday to give you too many instructions, but I do want you to kind of understand the concept a little bit. So um, what we're doing is, here's a little example. So this is a um, stamp that I have carved and you can see anything that is gray is where the ink is going to, to roll onto it. And then when you print it on paper, see how it goes backwards? It's a reverse image. Um, but so we have to cut away the areas that we want to stay white on our paper, okay? And if you see how some of these little things show up, that's because I didn't cut down very well up here, okay? Um, so I just want you to understand that concept. If you have a little extra time and you have your designs done, I will put a test piece of linoleum up here and just let you experiment a little bit. We have um, some cutters like this, and you will notice that there's a couple of different sizes that you can choose from. Um, so like this blade is wider, it'll take more like a deeper, like bigger chunk out. And this one is a little bit smaller for fine details. So if you want to take a test chunk and just kind of play around and see what it even feels like, or if you want to try and draw a design on here and try and cut it out, then I think I have enough test pieces that we can, we can do that. How's that sound? So try out a couple of different textures too. If I try like following a line, sorry, my camera is not focusing. Um, and then try doing a texture. If I, it's just like you would with a pencil if you take a whole bunch of little marks, just like we did with the Sharpie. It works the same way, it's just a different tool. So those will be up here um, for you to kind of practice it out. If you're at home and you're remote and you don't have that, you can just test it out on the back before you do anything on the front if you would like that. So for the rest of today, um, just make sure you finish your design, transfer it to your plate, and then you can practice a little bit with the cutting tools.